What we have here is another type of PS5 controller charging dock from Adobe. This one, as you can see, uses the USB type C plug in the front of the top of the PS5 controller for charging. And it has a fast charging and indicator light. So we're gonna open it up, show how it looks. It does charge two controllers at the same time. And it is very small and compact. One of the smallest and actually the smallest and most compact one I've seen so far. Pretty much no frills. These are little, little side plates you put on them. Let's open this one up here. Installs like, let's see how does this install. Like this and like this. There we go. Just like that. And let's do the other one. Just so you see, he's got the plug holes right here. Just goes like that. Slides right in, just like that. Very simple, very easy to install. Here's the USB-C port, which plugs into your AC outlet, which it includes a USB cable, not a USB, uh, not an AC adapter. So my, my preference would be, of course, is to charge it into a wall outlet instead of using a USB port on your PlayStation 5, because when you turn your PlayStation 5 off, it doesn't deliver power to the USB. It only does when you're in sleep mode. So that's one thing I would do. All you do is plug in here. And let's go plug this into my USB outlet here. And we have it powered on. Light comes on, comes blue. But usually blue means fully charged or nothing on it. So I've got a PS5 controller that's not fully charged. Let's see how that looks on here. So easy to slide in. Lines up pretty. Let's see, I line up okay. Yep, lines up pretty easily. You can see it went in and turned orange to indicate it's charging. You can see the controller light turns orange as well, indicate it is charging just fine. Now let's go see if a charged controller, this controller here should be fully charged. So let's see how this one looks on this side. Again, slides in, pretty easy to slide in. Do a little loose. See how the control light popped on and came off? And then the light stays blue. So it knows that this one's fully charged. It's not delivering any more charge. So it just basically turns off and it shows that this one's fully charged. So that's a good sign that it has auto shut off and it gives you an indicator when the controller is fully charged. This one's still charging. It slides, it takes, you see how I can shake it? It won't fall off. You just pull it off, nice little tug, but it's not gonna just accidentally flop off. Because these little, um, plastic pads hold it at an angle. They're relatively easy to slide on. You can see the controller barely touches the ground and it takes a little bit of horizontal space, but it's flat, which is nice. And maybe you, I don't know if you prefer vertical hanging ones or the ones that slot in vertically, but this is one that hangs on horizontally. So you could kind of position it this way or this way, however it works best for your entertainment center or wherever you want to do your charging. So overall works pretty well and We'll give it some more testing and charge the controllers a bunch of times on it, make sure there's no problems with it, and, but so far it's looking pretty good.